Hi, this is Catherine from The Little Bookstore. The book that I want to show you today is The Land of Long Ago. Land of Long Ago was published in 1898 by Nister in London. It's a book of children's fairy tales, classic fairy tales, containing six chromolithographic pop-up illustrations and the chromolithographs were all printed in Bavaria. It's complete, all the pop-ups are in good working order and there's a specific, very kind of detailed condition report on the website. What we'll do is we'll have a look just a little bit about what we see inside. As I said, there are six chromolithographic pop-ups. Absolutely fabulous. And we'll take a look at a few of them now. So this one is Cinderella. What you can see on these is, and what I think makes the books, particularly the Nista pop-up book, so lovely, as well as the quality of the chromolithograph, the depth of colour, the just the general composition, is the complexity, if you will, of the pop-ups with the several levels. We've got the background level, the background scene there, and then at different levels, in this case we have the grandfather clock, we have the ugly sisters, and then coming towards the front there, we've got Prince Charming and Cinderella with the glass slipper, and then a detail of a table with some little narcissi and a pot on it. So they have these nice several levels which help to build up a complete composition there. And they're absolutely charming, really, really charming, really lovely. A typical, typical Ernest Nister. And of course, Ernest Nister were published in America by E.P. Dutton of New York, okay, who had the license, a shared license with Ernest Nister to do that. So if we have a look now, this one is, uh, is Puss in Boots. And again, it's a lovely scene there, charming scene on several levels of the, of the puss there presenting his, his present of a, a goose or something to the, uh, to the king. And again, all the levels, the background, medium ground, foreground, and that with those. And then the next pop-up that I'm going to show you is, I think, has to be my, <coughs> excuse me, my favourite one here. And that's, there was an old woman who lived in the shoe, who had so many children, she didn't know what to do. And I think for me, what makes this one, this, this one my favourite, is there's so much going on in it. And it's, it's just all so wonderfully shown by the chromolithographs. But there isn't so much going on. In the background here, you've got the shoe with the buckle on it and the roof and the steps going down. And inside the shoe, you can see the children kind of doing things, being naughty. And another little child is, is, is running up the stairs and he's being kind of pushed away by the children in it and children creeping out of the cracks in the shoe. And then you've got the, the old woman here with some kind of whip. She's whipping the children. Not very... Uh, very nice, really, I suppose, these days. And then here at the front, you've got another little boy pulling the girl's pigtails and another little girl here who's, who's obviously fallen and scraped her, her arm and is, and is looking at looking at that. And then just off the, to the right here, there's the two little children and helping each other on the, on the school slate. So there's just so many, so many things going on. Uh, in in that and and just so much activity and they're all so so you know really pretty and quite and quite charming. So it's there are six of those as well as the one I've the ones I've shown you there. Um, there's also Little Red Riding Hood, The Sleeping Beauty, and um, Beauty and the Beast. Now obviously Ernest Nister books have been reproduced quite widely over over the recent years and so there are a lot of modern reproductions around there are a lot of them but once you've seen an original like this which have been printed with chromolithograph um, technology if you will um, as, a, as a printing process there, there's really no comparison when it's looked like looked at in the context of uh, um, the, the, the new versus old type of ones it's a lovely pop-up book absolutely wonderful the land of long ago thank you